Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. So, in this video, I'm going to uh, address a question I saw on the subreddit um, about the radio and, and callouts and call signs and and what do people mean? What are people saying when they're uh, when they're making these radio callouts? Um, so I'll explain. Uh, as best as I can the the knowledge that I've picked up um, I will say I'm not military trained I haven't done any research or anything like that this is just for me the um, life knowledge or what I've picked up playing the game and then after that um, quick explanation I'm going to also have a look at the RWR um, again not something that is uh, taught uh, very much in the tutorial um, other than you know, it's it's useful to know uh, that it's there. So what I'd like to do is kind of go over a few things that I've picked up either from the wiki or either just from playing the game because I think, uh, especially in multiplayer lobbies, it's a very useful, um, very useful instrument to know how to use and to know what it's uh, trying to tell you. It, it could be the the difference between surviving uh, a missile shot or not for instance so we'll, we'll have a look at the RWR after that so first of all um, the the call signs the radio call signs so for for those people who don't know um, the phonetic alphabet I would recommend that you go out and um, just look it up on the internet it doesn't take long to learn 10 or 15 minutes just read through it a few times it's 26 words it's the standard alphabet um, but when you hear for instance um, echo 11 that is um, echo group so uh, E group so echo stands for E in the standard alphabet um, then the the first one is the actual group so you could have alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 delta 1 delta 2 so on and then the the final number is the the aircraft in that group so if I heard a call sign um, x-ray 24 then that would be x-ray group 2 aircraft number 4 um, you, you will get used to these over time like I say if you go and, and just look up the phonetic alphabet that will will tell you all all the words on there it's a very useful tool to have um, not just for this game but in life um, if you're finding it difficult to explain uh, to somebody for instance understanding the phonetic alphabet can help you in situations like that so it's a good thing to learn anyway uh, on top of that you also have the nav screen and the nav screen will show your allies call signs above their icon on the nav screen so if you see uh, B 2.1 that's Bravo 2.1 that's Bravo group 2 plane number 1 lead plane so for instance if you saw that Bravo 2.1 had an enemy coming up behind him you could get on the radio Bravo 2.1 bogey behind you take evasive action you know you, you can help people out that way so getting used to these call signs and what people uh, are asking uh, can be really useful and it's a very easy thing to, to learn as well um, something else that I learned over time on the radio is you may hear Fox 2 um, Fox 3 rifle um, these are different munitions different munition types uh, again, you can find this relatively easy on the internet, but I will explain what I know. Um, again, if I'm wrong on any of this, please do correct me. Please do tell us in the comments uh, if I am wrong. But my understanding is uh, Magnum is a long-range anti-radiation air-to-ground missile. Uh, so like the AGM-88 in the FS-26, FA-26B. Um... Rifle is an air-to-ground guided missile. Fox 2 is um, infrared air-to-air -air missile. So your AIM-9s or your Air STs are a Fox 2. A Fox 3 is um, anti-radiation air-to-air. So that would be um, your AIM-120s. 
and I'm not too sure about the AGM 126 I don't know whether that's a Fox 1 um, which is a short range anti-radiation but I might be wrong so again if somebody could correct me on that and um, you may also hear pickle um, just like the things that you get on burgers pickle um, that is releasing a bomb um, a standard un unpowered bomb if you will standard gravity bomb um, whether that be uh, I'm not sure if there's a difference for laser targeted or, or dumb um, pickle uh, I believe that comes from the Second World War the bombing reticle in the uh, American Flying Fortress uh, they're guaranteed that you could drop a bomb into a pickle jar or a pickle barrel at 20,000 feet or something and that word just stuck pickle and one last thing I want to go over on the radio is if you have an, an, an AWACS on your team it's a very useful thing to have it's, uh, it's basically a large flying radar that can see everything on the map um, really useful thing really good to, to get to know um, how to use Overlord for one and what Overlord is saying so Overlord can give you um, a couple of different um, bits of information one is picture so that is um, basically an overlook of what's going on on the entire map as far as um, you know the, there's an enemy somewhere there's another enemy over here and then you have bogey dope um, which is the closest hostile to you so the, uh, the closest dangerous aircraft you can call um, Overlord, you can either do it on the uh, comms mic, so you can press under your chin with the trigger to use the comms mic. If you have your hand on the stick, you can press the A button on the Quest or the bottom button, whatever that is on other systems, to use the um, mic. Or you can do it on the comms screen. So I will, first of all, I'm going to ask for Bogey Dope, which is my closest um, enemy, if you will. And then I'll explain what Overlord is, is saying to us. So uh, again, if this was over the radio, it would be Overlord Bogey Dope. Alpha 1-1, one, one. Overlord Group Bra, 061-14-5000, cold. So first of all, he, he calls us, he hails us over the radio, Alpha 1-1. One, one. He declares who he is, he is, Overlord. So we know that he's communicating with us. So, uh, the next bit would be telling you about um, the enemy. So, we'll listen again. Alpha 1 1, Overlord Group Bra, 045, 20, 5000, cold. So, it was a group, Group Bra. Uh, there is a group and hostile. Hostile is a single target, I believe. Group is obviously a group. Bra, B R A A means bearing range altitude and I can't quite remember what the last A is um, but it's generally the direction of travel of that particular enemy so uh, the first one bearing was I believe the first readout was 161 so that would be from my plane if I head 161 I'm gonna come across the enemy range is in miles for me uh, if your units it would be uh, if your units are different that would be in kilometers uh, but for me it was miles i believe you said 15 so that's 15 miles from my position a was altitude um i think they said 12 so that's 12,000 feet above sea level um my units are in feet and then um, I didn't get the last one. There are a few different versions of uh, the aspect. That was it. That was the last A, yeah, the aspect. If it is hot, it is heading towards you. If it is cold, it is heading away from you. Otherwise, they will say, Overlord will say tracking and give you a direction. So tracking east, it's heading east, for instance. Um, picture. Overlord picture. Group bullseye 054 18 5000. Cold. Group bullseye 336 18 20,000. Tracking west. So there you go. I got a couple of different readouts there. Picture. It's not just the closest one to me. It's giving me information on, on various um, details. So it can be very useful. Um, Overlord is great if you've got one on the map. 
Um, if you are confident in using it as well, it can be a very good tool in, uh, let's say, finding out enemies. It has a much stronger radar uh, than there is on your aircraft, so it might pick up, for instance, the stealth fighters, where you're not picking it up on radar. So, Overlord can be very useful. Next, I'm going to go into smooth mode. Here we go. And we are next going to, I'll, I'll take a look at the RWR and, and explain at least some of what I understand uh, about the RWR. So I'm going to go back to camera and I'll position the camera so you can see a bit better there. Let's just go like that. So what I'm going to do is I'll put the um, ARAD on because this is giving us the same information that we're seeing on the RWR. It's just a bit bigger and clearer. And it's also keeping uh, the radar signals on here where these are flashing up. So first of all, there's a couple of symbols that you need to get used to on the RWR. First of all is the diamond. This is your priority target. I'm not sure if it that is like the closest target to you or the most dangerous target to to you but um, that is the priority target you will also see this arch you get like the arch over the top of one that's a new um, target so because it's the same aircraft but it keeps losing um, its radar tracking and popping up again that means it's new um, then also an aircraft you see if that pops up again has the little chevron, the up arrow, that lets you know it's an aircraft. So Overlord, I know this is Overlord, but E4 is Overlord. Overlord is an aircraft, it's right in front of me. That has the chevron, and this F is a fighter. F plus means it's their advanced fighter. DS um, means that's a SAM site. I believe M4 is the mobile long range SAM site and there's there's a few other of these short codes as well you will have some for your own team so if you see 26 for instance that's the um, the FA 26B 45 is the F 45 uh, 94 is the attack helicopter uh, 42 I think does it say 42 or AV I think it's 42 these are your um, friendly readouts as well. So you might get a radar lock from um, F, uh, from 45, for instance. That would be uh, a friendly locking onto you. Now you may be in a group of planes. Uh, there may be enemies around you, and the F45 is in standoff position. Uh, in that case, you need to tell your uh, your buddy <laughs> this is going to lead into it uh, and this is another one of those radio call signs that you might hear is buddy spike so spike is a radar lock um, it's not just the let me just turn the RWR on so it's not just the blips that's telling you you're being picked up on radar it's when you get tone uh, if you get tone and your you know the priority the lock on is on you uh, then you get on the radio and you, you call out that aircraft F-45 buddy spike so he knows he's locked onto you now he shouldn't really be locking onto you unless he's using Boresight because they have a targeting system so you know use the radar to lock on if you can but if you are on Boresight or they are on Boresight uh, and they, they ping you then buddy spike lets them know um, who it is and also you know maybe look on the nav screen you can find their call sign Victor 1-1, one, one, Buddy Spike, you're safe, hopefully. You will also get another uh, readout on here, which is an M in a red circle. So an M is a missile that has radar lock. And as soon as you see that M on there, this is the only thing you should be looking at. Other than where that missile is coming from, this is telling you more than what you can actually see with your own eyes. So when you see that M, and you're going to try and notch that missile, which is using the land behind you as a backdrop to try and fool the missile into thinking you're not there, you want that M to be 90 degrees to your aircraft. So either out on the left or out on the right. That's got the best chance of notching the aircraft. 
Now the missile has to be higher than the aircraft in order for notching to work, but that will give you your best um, chance of notching the missile, having the M off to the side of the RWR. If it's behind you, it's, if, it's, if it's low, it's obviously chasing. If it's up, it's coming from in front of you. But as soon as you see that M on there, you'll get an audio tone anyway, but you should be taking evasive action. This is also uh, the missile release or, or the missile being fired warning system. I'm not sure what the right term is for that. Um, that will also show you, I think, uh, an orange circle around it. And it will give you two red arcs from where that missile is coming from. I believe if that missile is locked, it will also draw a line from those arcs to you. So it will pick up the launch of an, uh, an infrared missile as, uh, as well as an anti-radiation missile. But only the anti-radiation missile is going to show up as the M on screen. So... Uh, bit of a short video uh, but like I said hopefully uh, uh, that bit of information is going to be useful for some new players if I have made any mistakes uh, to those veterans out there first of all I apologize uh, secondly please do correct me in the comments um, I'm quite happy to learn from those who know more than me uh, but for those who don't I hope this video uh, was useful to you I've been Ferret and I'll see you in the next one goodbye